because if they know they can make money off your death, they might put a hit out on you. So I did not tell my mom that she's gonna make a million dollars if I die. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Donald, where we talk about marketing, personal finance, entrepreneurship, and a little bit of psychology and how that all ties together. But before we get into the video, I want you to smash that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the video. Welcome back, Horse Hackers. We're gonna do another episode of How Money Works. And I'm gonna start off with a rule of thumb, and that rule of thumb is your life insurance should cover million 10x of death your annual family if your annual so household good. income is 100,000. If your annual household income is 50,000, then you need a 500,000 dollar death benefit. So that's just the rule of thumb. The second rule of thumb is don't tell your beneficiary because if they know they can make money off your death, they might put a hit out on you. So I did not tell my mom that she's gonna make a million dollars if I die. So I don't think she will kill me, but you know, I did some pretty horrible things in the past, so I'm not gonna put 100% on that. So don't tell your beneficiary, just make it like a little surprise for when you're gone. So here's some factors to consider. Your age, your health, your debt, your dependence, your income and your current financial situation, and the role in your current business if you're a business owner. So these are some things to consider when you're thinking about how much money you need to leave your loved ones with. So if you're in a business or something, you need to figure out how much money you would need to leave your partners with before you die. So it's really nice to actually think about how much of a death benefit you can leave because if you're a co-founder of a business, you play a pretty important role. And if you suddenly up and die, then that is pretty damaging to the company. So it would be great to actually leave a death benefit to keep that company rolling. Of course, your age and your health and your debt all comes into play. If you die with debt, then of course that debt will go to your family. If it's like, if you have a wife and the kids and you guys have like joint accounts, then of course your, your wife or your husband will probably carry that debt. Again, if you have kids, that's something to think about. Uh, with education costs and food costs and just raising a kid, you know, raising a kid is 200 to 250 K from zero to 18. That's the, that's the average cost of raising a kid. And those are really just some of the factors you have to really consider. So, and also some other questions that you should ask is what are your short and long-term debts, your loans and your goals? How much money is, do you have to spend per month on rent, on your mortgage? If you have kids, do you have any kids? How old are your kids? And how much of their education do you need to cover? Really, I think that kids these days just get too much coddling, so I don't think you need to worry about this too much. Just have them get loans or something and have them really pay it back by, by themselves. I mean, like, they have hands and they have feet and they have brains. They gotta figure things out without mom and dad, right? And the last thing is, do you got money to cover your own funeral costs? Do you really want your loved ones to be paying for your funeral expenses? That's what a lot of people do. Like, I remember for a lot of my grandparents, like, everybody just had to pitch in for their, for their funeral expenses because my grandparents died without any assets. They, they lived life poor for their entire lives because they didn't have any financial education. It's understandable because they lived through World War One and World War Two, so they have that scarcity mindset or scarcity mindset, however you want to pronounce it. But for you, you're in the age of technology. You have something that our grandparents don't have. We can learn through YouTube, and we're young and our minds are fresh, so we we can learn all this stuff. But it's our responsibility to learn. And I'm really glad. I really commend you to actually be here to be learning this this personal finance, all these all these things that I'm teaching you and all these questions that I'm getting to ask yourself because personal finance, I, it's really just asking yourself questions of is this good for me now in the future? Are these gonna take care of my loved ones? Things like that. So really, the last question you got, the last question you gotta ask is you got money to cover your own funeral expenses because I don't think it's something that you should just put on to other people because they shouldn't be responsible for 
your your funeral and the cost of that. So that's where I'm gonna leave things because I think that's a good point to leave things. Go ahead for homework. Do find a financial advisor and ask these questions with them. If you don't have one, then feel free to connect with me because I have a financial advisor that I can connect you with. It's a free consultation, and you can do that by joining us and uh, by joining our newsletter with the link in the comments or description below. And please. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe how you're liking these videos. We'd really appreciate some feedback. And I'll see you guys again next time.